welcome I would like to demonstrate to you or show you some basic tools needed for electrical wiring first we start with a voltage tester this tester will indicate to you whether or not you have electricity flowing through your wires with these two contacts you could ground your hot wire and your neutral and if you have an indicator light that comes on in this compartment it means you have live electricity flowing through your wires be careful if you're working with electricity and you indicate lights then you need to turn your breaker off next we got a insulated wire stripper looks like a box cutter this is generally used to strip the housing of your wire you splice it then you take this outside off and you left with the bare wire insulated from the inside that's what this is good for next is a bird beak or pointed pliers this will assist you in turning this wire and making loops you could make loops of different design that's needed to screw on whatever you're connecting next you need a receptacle tester this receptacle tester you could plug it into your receptacle if you have these two lights that's lit then it means you have live power coming through your receptacle if you're working with electricity at that time you may want to shut your breaker off or for a simple reason you would like to test your receptacle to make sure they are in good working mode once again if these two lights comes on together it means your receptacle is working fine if one of these yellow lights should come on with this red one then you know you have a shortage within the receptacle and it should be changed immediately next you have an electrical tape for all your electrical purpose when connecting a wire you will want to use also one of these caps that will cover your wire for safe protection against shocking or exposed wire that will enhance electricity so you may want to use the electrical tape and tape around those wires for safety next you have a knife looks like it is a sheet rack knife this is where you could use to cut around your sheet rack after measuring so that you could have a clear cut 99% of the time to fit your box in for good service another important thing is your pliers this is a basic regular pliers with insulation on the outside of the handle this protects you from direct electricity or direct current to contact you don't want to contact uh, make direct contact with electricity it's bad for you also you need to get a flat screwdriver in case for some reason you have 
a flat head or a fillet you use it for this purpose also a Phillips is needed in case remember I told you if you have a Phillips head or a flat head this is good for the purpose also now this very important tool this is a gauge stripper this means if you're using a 14 gauge a, a 10 gauge a 13 gauge or 12 gauge wire this indicates to you the gauges and you put the wire in the inside of whatever size of wire you're using you put it in that groove there and you pull outwards when you pull outwards it strips the wire to give you bare uninsulated wire to do the work properly next is your box which I guess you saw earlier <clears throat> this box is a very good electrical box the plastic box you could use for the outside or the inside for safe um, for safely grounding when you turn here the trick is these boxes are equipped with a self adjusting if you look carefully there as you turn here that butterfly goes upwards that is what will hold against the back of your wall to grab on strongly and hold this together and of course this is your wire you could this is a 14 wire 14 gauge you <clears throat> depends on the work you would like to do uh, you may want to use a 12 gauge wire be careful use the proper wire when doing your electricity some basic tool to get you on the roll to electrical work not to forget this is a tape very nice to use these comes in different colors white blue red yellow sometimes green this indicates to you what color of wire you would like to work with so if let's say for example you have a white wire you have a black wire and you have a ground wire which is a plain copper then you could take the white tape put it on around the white wire the black tape around the black wire the red tape or the yellow tape around the ground or the green tape around the ground this indicates to you um, a way to identify your wires properly and of course you may want to let's make believe you're going to fix you're going to connect a single pole switch this is a single pole switch the way the re, the, 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 a good way to identify a single pole switch is to note that it only has three screws one two three this two screws that's on the right hand side of the switch they are copper or gold these are the hot and the neutral screws this is where your black and your white wire will go it doesn't matter where which screws which wire goes where on which screws so long as you have them connected properly it will work the next side will be for the ground that's the green screw that's where this copper wire goes into and once you have these connected properly then your switch is ready to work you go back to your box from behind of this box there is two entry gaps here that you will want to push down and then bring your wires through that's how your wires will go through those boxes 
and after connecting it this is what it's going to be looking like you take your switch put it back in your box and hooray your job is well done on off on off a little way to demonstrate to you basic tools needed for basic wiring I hope you did enjoy this video later on I will show you how to drive a 40 feet bus some says Tata bus I would say they are Tata buses like the old time Tata buses those are the buses I will show you how to drive those safely transporting 4,000 people a day hope you did enjoy this video also coming up more videos on electrical work I will show you actually how to connect this same switch into a light fixture and get it working from your breaker thank you